Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And I have a giant bin on my lap full of things that I have warmed. So I think this is going to be pretty much what I warmed during the month of December. I don't know if I did any videos on what I've been warming in the month of December. So, and this is gonna be like a compilation right here. Ideally, I'm gonna try and get back to doing these videos weekly, if not bi-weekly. I would prefer to do them once every week, but you can see how that's been going. So, um, I feel like the lighting is super yellow. So apologies, let's just get right into it. Okay, I did work on some bricks. Let's talk about the ones I didn't finish first. So these will carry over into next holiday season, which they're kind of old. Um, the first one is Crimson Berry Christmas. This is actually from like 2020 brick release, uh, but 2024 uh, holiday season, I guess, will be the time to use this up. So I have over half of it left. I have what, eight cubes. Um, I finished one of these bricks though, not a full one, but I had a partial that I finished also this past season. So I feel a little bit better about working on this one. Uh, this is probably the oldest brick I have at this point though. So I feel like it'll be my highest priority come next holiday season. I'm just out of this mood. I'm not going to force myself to use this up right now because it's my oldest. I'm just going to wait and work on it later on. Um, and then I also have Spiced Eggnog, which this one is from 10 of 21. Yeah, that's what that says. So this is over two years old at this point. Um, I feel like two years is kind of the point where I'm like evaluating, do I not actually want to melt it? <laughs> or, you know, like, is this something I just need to like pass on because I don't actually like? Or like... You know, do I need to prioritize it, work on it a little bit? I don't think it like goes completely off after two years. I know people have Scentsy Wax way longer than that. But for me, it's more so just like a check-in to be like, is this something I'm holding on to because I feel like I should? Or I actually like don't care to use it and someone else could get some use out of it basically. This one, I'm unsure. I melted a cube as you can see from this back situation here. Um... I don't, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm just like in the middle, neutral. I don't know. It's got kind of like a weird eggnog. <laughs> it's like got a weird undertone. And I'm assuming it's because it's eggnog. I don't know, but it's like a little bit bakery, a little bit cinnamon. It's decent. It's not one that I like totally love, but I'll probably just keep it in the pile for next holiday season and try to use it up then. But I did finish two bricks, which is really exciting. The first one I finished was Walnut Raisin Muffin. And I told you guys, I believe the last time I did a video that I was like, I'm determined to finish this. And I just ended up using, I think maybe I had like the bottom row or only like three cubes, maybe four. And I was just like, I'm just going to use it all up because I'm so close. And I'm so happy to be done with this brick. I love this scent, but I've also had it in my club the entire time since it was available in this brick. So... I have plenty of bars in this scent um, and I'm very excited to dive into using them because they are much newer <laughs> than this brick was because they've been pouring them. I do believe I've gotten this scent in the new clamshells. So excited to just next fall season move on to the bars of this and not be working on this brick. This was the oldest brick in my collection um, but now it'll definitely be that Crimson Marie Christmas. And very exciting, I actually finished two bricks in the month of December. I finished up Vanilla Bean Buttercream. I didn't actually have intentions of finishing this up in December, but uh, we were gonna have people over a couple days ago and I was debating what kind of scent to put in. And I was just like going totally back and forth. I didn't know what to do. Not that I don't think my friends are scent people, but I also didn't wanna like overwhelm them with choosing something that I thought was like, a calming neutral scent and it was like a powerhouse or something so I was looking through my bins and like you know looking at stuff I just read on my melting basket and this was actually already in this basket for melting um, because I had melted a couple cubes of it 
And then I realized the age of it. This is from eight of 21. So I was like, okay, this is over the two year mark. This is my like oldest brick that I would probably use at this time of year. Like we're past Christmas. Um, yeah, that's essentially how I came to it. And then I was like, you know what? This would be actually be a really decent scent to put in for guests because it's just vanilla bean buttercream. So I think I had four cubes left in this and oh my gosh, was it slimy. I don't feel like this scent really gets gooby, but I think just because of the age and like the heater's been running, you know, all of that business, like it just was getting kind of like a little bit past its prime, um, like oily like texture. Uh, so I just took the last four cubes and I spread them out between my entire house. Um, so I did some in the bedroom. I did some downstairs. I did some upstairs and some in the kitchen. Like I did it essentially everywhere besides here in my office because this is kind of like my testing zone. So I just put it everywhere and it's been great. I love it. Um, our friends actually didn't even end up coming over is probably the funniest part about it. I was like, oh my gosh, what should I do? What should I do? And then they never even really up, ended up coming. So it probably wouldn't have mattered regardless. Uh, but I'm really happy I did because I finished the brick and I just have been enjoying vanilla bean buttercream around the house. I normally don't put that scent everywhere. I'll just like use it as a mixer or put it in the kitchen or something specific. So really enjoy that. Okay, let's get into bars now. And I have a combination of empties and non-empties, but let's just do them all, I guess. Um, okay, first one on top here is Peppermint Rush. This was from the Scents of the Season collection. I apologize that some of these scents I'm gonna talk about are probably now discontinued because I've waited so long. That's why I wanna start doing these weekly because yeah, <laughs> I wanna get more, especially since Bring Back My Bar is available and I'm starting to warm those. That will be in my first January weeks like review. Uh, peppermint Rush, Scents of the Season. This is just straight up peppermint. Did not club this one. Actually did a fairly large to me, <laughs> uh, club declutter edit, whatever you want to call it. This one did not make the cut. It's just a really nice peppermint scent though. If you did pick it up and you're a fan of peppermint, I'm sure you will be enjoying that. Um, I also have in here caramel praline cake. I have three cubes left of this. I don't believe I also ended up clubbing this one because I was just trying to make some cuts. It's really nice but I just don't know if I would reach for it over like a basic vanilla bean buttercream, sugar cookie, a lot of the other bakery since I have my club, but I have a like number of bars of these because I think I have this one, I think I bought another sense of the season set and one came in the whiff box at one point for sure. So I at least have two more full bars plus these three cubes. So not too upset about that. Christmas Cottage, I tested this one out because I was like, I don't think I've ever tried Christmas Cottage. And I'm like, eh, on it. I don't know. I knew it wasn't my favorite to begin with. I'm actually probably gonna try the rest of these cubes in the open concept, maybe next holiday season. That sounds so bad because like, I'm just gonna let this open bar sit, but I have like an area where I just keep kind of my open clams that I plan on using later. I'll just stash that with it. And I need to date this bar. So we're gonna set him to the side. I just feel like Christmas Cottage is a little bit too much orange for me, but I feel like in a bigger space, it might smell a little bit better and like have more room to dissipate. Fingers crossed, we'll see. We'll see next holiday season. Uh, Meet Me at the Mistletoe. This was the December scent of the month. This to me is like, I wish it was more tree forward. It's like just a very fresh scent. It kind of almost reminds me of Christmas cactus now that I'm like smelling it again. I just remember warming it and being like, where's the tree? No, <laughs> like not that I don't, I don't think it was like supposed to happen, but it's called mistletoe. Like, I don't know. I just, I wish it had more tree. It's just like really fresh, almost, you probably wouldn't know it's like a seasonal scent. Like I would consider this almost like a year round scent because it just doesn't smell like Christmas to me. I wish it smelled more Christmassy since it was the December scent of the month. Um, 
won't be rebuying. I feel like that was fairly obvious. Also, this one needs a date too. So I'm going to set that aside. There was a portion where I was just like completely overwhelmed with so many bars. Like my club had come. I had place to order that had come. My sense of the month bars had come. Like I was getting all these bars. I was trying to get things out and stuff. And I like didn't date things. And then I went through the other day and totally dated everything. Except for things that were in this basket, obviously. So <laughs> there's that. Okay, warmed some B Mary. This scent, I feel like I, it's not focusing whatsoever. I apologize, it's B Mary. This is like a fruity Christmas tree scent. It's like got tree, but it's a little bit of fruity. I remember this being better in the past. I thought I was, I like don't have any other bars of this than this one. And I was like, okay, like hyping myself up to warm it. Cause I remember it being so good. And then I warmed it and I was kind of underwhelmed. I don't know if I put this whole bar between my like living and kitchen area, like open concept. And I don't know if it just like my ceilings are too high. There was enough airflow. It just like didn't do what I thought it was going to do. So kind of bummed about that. Um, next I have vanilla barnwood. This I tested out because I was super curious about it. And I feel like I still don't know my thoughts on this. I also don't know if I left this one in my club or actually took it out. I'm not entirely sure. But it's like a vanilla. But there's also something else happening in here. And I don't know what it is. Like, it's not Pacific Sandalwood. And I felt like I kind of wanted this to be Pacific Sandalwood. I mean, I want everything to be Pacific Sandalwood. I don't know if it's close enough to that for me to keep it in my club. But I might have just like for a while to kind of gather my thoughts. I'm not entirely sure what I ended up doing with it. It's a decent vanilla. Feels really weird for this time of year, like Christmas when it kind of was around, but I'm gonna give it some more chances. Obviously I have some more cubes and I have some more bars of it as well. Uh, wide open spaces. This one I was fairly confident I was going to love. And I do like it. It's like the, this was, a part of that like what was the collection called it was like a country themed collection they were all like based on weathered leather scents this was like the least odd to me some of the pairings were super out there for my personal preference and this one I actually liked the most I tested it out though the other day as you can see, um, just two cubes in the basement because we were working in there. I was going through some warmers and like reorganizing. And I was like, let's just test out the two cubes, like basement, pretty big area. I feel like it'll take, you know, a bit to like get it going. This scent was so strong. It <laughs> blew us out of the basement. Like you would walk in from outside and it was wafting up from the basement. It was insanity. So I had this in my club. I ended up taking it out because I have this bar with six cubes and I have another brand new bar. And I'm like, there's no way. Like, I don't even know if I could use one cube of this in the bedroom. I might have to cut it with something just because it's so intense. So I was like, I don't probably need this coming to me quarterly or <laughs> like by any frequency because it's going to take me so long to get through these. So there was that. <laughs> I was like super excited to use that one because I was like, oh, I'm really going to love it, like whatever. But I was like, I know I need to test it, you know, before I need to make a decision for my club. You guys know how it goes. I'm so glad I did because if I would have continued to get those and just like not tested it, I would have been thoroughly shocked when I melted it for the first time. Okay, Sweet Orange and Evergreen. I think I did this one for Christmas when we had family over for Christmas. Love this one. This is probably my favorite tree scent from Scentsy. I don't have it in my club, but I have two or three bars left of it. And I've, I've come to the conclusion somewhat that I probably don't need to put tree scents in my club because they're always going to release something that smells like tree around holidays. And at the end of the day, like there's always going to be something available at the time of year I want to melt it. And I have so many left over. Like, I don't need to continue to get them all year long and then I only melt them for like a month period. So 
trying to be mentally strong there and not put any tree scents in my glove. Um, but thankfully most of them are like unavailable now to add to club now that we've switched into the new year. Okay, fuzzy blanket. I recently removed this from my club after I warmed it just because I'm, I'm not so hot on it. Like I wanted to like it more than I think I actually do. It just reminds me too much of jammy time. And while I haven't actually like warmed jammy time, just like only smelling it on cold, I feel like it's just too much for me. So there you have it. Um, okay. Frosted white pine. I don't know if I've talked about this one yet. I feel like I have for some reason. I wanted to like this one and I liked it on cold so much. But when it was warming, it turned like weird kind of. So I actually like ended up not being a fan of this. Also, this is kind of a tree based scent and I decided, you know, I'm not doing tree scents in my club. So regardless, I feel like it would have got the boot, but I actually ended up not liking it. Okay. Make me snickerdoodle. This is an empty. I feel like this one could be so much better. It's just not my favorite bakery. It's too buttery. That one is still available. It's in the catalog. Uh, sugar plum berry. This one was better than I thought it would be on cold. Like I feel like it has a lot of orange going on <laughs> on cold. Um, but once it warms, I felt like it lasted forever. It lasted a really long time, like a lot of days in a row. And it wasn't so bad. Like it wasn't so orangey. However, this one did not make the cut. I did not put it in my club, keep it in my club, whatever. I just didn't feel like it was my favorite out of the grouping. Instead, I kept Homestead Holiday. I liked this one a lot more. And I feel like this is kind of nice almost all winter long. Like probably mid-November once it starts getting chillier. We've had a really weird season this year where it hasn't really been cold until now. But like once it starts cooling off a little bit and then like almost all winter, especially December. It's just like so warm and cozy. It's not necessarily Christmassy. It's just warm and cozy holiday season. So I'm gonna put that one actually back into the melting basket. Plum and White Woods. I don't know that I like this. I warmed it in the bedroom and I was like, I don't feel like I'm a fan of this. I feel like it's too fruity. I don't know. I feel like it's too intense plum, but like candied plum, not like sweet plum pastry. I don't know. I actually don't think I'm a fan of it. So, so be it. <laughs> okay. Toffee butter crunch. I did two cubes of this one in the kitchen and I did at the same time, this entire bar of red berry and spruce in the living room area, because I was like, I want to do this. I had put my new warmers out, but I was like, should I put this in the kitchen? That feels kind of weird. Okay, I'll just pop in two bars or two cubes of toffee butter crunch. The red berry and spruce was doing okay-ish. It took a while to like kind of get going. The toffee butter crunch, the two cubes of this completely overpowered the red berry and spruce. I could not believe it. I was in my office at the like back of the house where the bedrooms are. This was going in the kitchen. I could smell it back here in the office. It was so strong. And Corey was like, wow, I really like this scent. And I was like, me too. Why don't I warm this more often? Because I have it in my club. I have so many bars of it. It is so good. He was like, is this a butter toffee scent? And I was like, it's toffee butter crunch. And he was like, no way. I was like, you actually nailed that. It smells so authentic. It's just so strong and so good. Literally two cubes. Powerhouse. Back in the melting basket she goes. Um, okay. Let's see. Candy cane buttercream. I melted two cubes of this in the bedroom because it's so good. <laughs> It's such a good scent. I was just craving some like candy cane type scents. Also, I went through and pulled out like scents from my melting basket for like, you know, after Christmas while it's still winter. Thinking, oh, I'll pull out all my minty scents 
where are all my minty scents? I have no perfect peppermint. I have, this is my only bar of candy cane buttercream. I have no polar bear hug, no silver bells. I was just like, what is going on? Where are all my mint scents? So I decided to put this back in my melting basket, but yes, I was just craving some mint and this is currently available. So pick them up. This is the perfect blend of candy cane and vanilla bean buttercream which I mean, it is the blend of candy cane and vanilla and buttercream and they completely nailed it. It's spot on that. I feel like people who don't love peppermint will like this one because it's just so well done. So well blended. Okay. Palo Santo and cinnamon. I feel like this is just not focusing. I also got a new phone. So apologies. Uh, me filming on my phone maybe isn't like the best uh, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Palo Santo and cinnamon tested a cube of this because I had not warmed it at all. And this is new for the catalog. This is actually so good. So, so good. I felt like the name of it felt like a weird combination. Palo Santo and cinnamon. It's not like Cologne Palo Santo. I feel like, like they do in vendor wax. It's just like a wood kind of base Palo Santo and the cinnamon is not overpowering red hot. It's just super cozy, 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 cozy. Like I'm definitely putting this back in my melting basket for sure. It is really, really nice. So tested a cube here in my office. So like I said, it's kind of my testing zone and I loved it. It was so good. Okay, a sleigh ride. This was probably my favorite tree scent from this past season. It was just a really good, like no frills tree scent. Um, have a couple more bars of this, possibly another set of pods. I don't know. I enjoyed it plenty over this season, like pods. I did this bar or whatever. So used her up. Uh, hazelnut latte is my last bar I have to talk about. This is so good. Why don't I warm this more often? I pulled this out random. Because I was like, I don't know, I think it was just at the front of my melting basket. And I was like, oh, okay, he's on that latte. I'll pull it out. It's so good. It's also like not just a morning scent. I don't know that I want to put this everywhere in my house, but in the kitchen, it's fantastic. It's really, really good. So hazelnut latte is a winner. Um, I have a hand soap in Christmas cottage. So this I actually don't know what I'm going to do with this. I put this out and Corey was like, this scent is disgusting. And I was like, oh, should I like, I like move the soaps around sometimes. So like I'll put one downstairs, I'll put one upstairs, I'll put one in the bathroom or like upstairs bathroom, downstairs bathroom and at the kitchen. Um, and then I'll like rotate them, you know, as we finish up things, whatever. And so I was like, oh, should I like move it somewhere else? And he's like, no, like don't have it in the house. It's so disgusting. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Also now it says Christmas cottage and it's way past Christmas. It's way past Christmas. It's been a week. <laughs> it's past Christmas. I don't feel like, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if I should just like bring it to work and like see if anybody just wants to have it because I'm like, it's open. Um, so yeah, Christmas cottage, hand soap. There you have that. Um, and then I actually did finish, oh, I actually wanna talk about all my candles. So I finished a candle and then I wanna talk about my candles and I wanna do this weekly, ideally. So um, I was working on some candles. I have been over the month of December, which I'm excited to share with you. And so I was working on Homeworks Christmas Cappuccino and I also put like a fancy, one of their better lids on it. Um, burned her all the way down. She got to the wick clips and I extinguished her. So, so, so good. Really nice for the mornings. I literally, let's see, this is where she started. And as you can see, she's all the way down at the bottom. Um, I was going to say, yeah, can you see the, the line up there? Um, literally just burned this every like morning as I was getting ready for work. And it was 
beautiful. Um, I was doing the candle croc. Something just urged me to like light up a candle. It's also super cozy with it being so dark um, in the morning here now that it's winter. And yeah, I just used up the whole thing. I could not believe how fast I went through it because I just had lit it every single day. So that kind of like sparked me to do that a little bit more with some of my other candles. So I want to share the rest of the candles I'm actually working on right now. And I feel like I feel like stuff is just happening here. We're almost done. Okay, so my bathroom candle currently is the Bath and Body Works Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle. Maybe get my face out of the way. And this is how I'm doing on this. Let me unscrew it. So I had a line like all the way at the top because it was unburned and I'm all the way down to there. Also, ideally we'll be marking this every week when I do this weekly accountability. Um but this was like the whole month of December pretty much because that's when I was working on it. I also feel like this one gets a lot of attention. Like it shouldn't go much longer because I am pretty like adamant about working on it. Um, okay. Then next I have been working on Mary Cookie. So this one here is the progress here. I feel like I have burned this so much more than this like marking is feeling like. Um, but this one has now become the candle that I'm working on in the mornings. This is just like a buttery cookie scent, honestly. It's almost a little bit too much sometimes. However, though, I will say, um, this one is starting to get a little bit murky. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, especially in this upper corner. So I'm gonna try it one more time tomorrow. Um, you can tell in the wax it's starting to get murky like even when it was liquefied you could tell if tomorrow it's starting to like deteriorate and look worse this one might get delegated to the croc so this one you might see next week and i might be telling you that it is no longer <laughs> going to be in this little mini project of candles i'm working on because it might be going to the croc and then uh, for my like evening bathroom downstairs if we're chilling on the couch this is like my miscellaneous candle um i have black teak wood and this one has been very yummy uh over the christmas break we were doing a lot of like movie watching hanging out on the couch so this one got lit up a lot then don't know how much that's gonna happen going forward but i do like this one before we were on our Christmas break, I did enjoy doing this one in the upstairs bathroom, just like in the evenings, kind of like after dinner, getting ready for bed, whatever, just because we don't have a ton of light in there. I have a nightlight in there, but this just gives it like a cozy ambiance, especially if we're already like upstairs working on things, whatever, kind of doing our evening routine. So either way, that'll kind of be this one's role. And this one, it's definitely just like a more manly scent. It's rich mahogany, black teakwood, dark oak, and frosted lavender. It's really nice. It's not overwhelming either. I was a bit nervous to do this. Um, I do believe Corey picked this out at a candle day a couple years ago, but it's not bad. It's very nice once it starts going. And then this one I haven't actually worked on at all yet, but it's Twisted Peppermint. This one is going to be kind of like my evening candle. Uh, like for the open condom. So we'll see <laughs> how much use I get on that there. But kind of my idea with this one is like, if we're on the couch watching something, it's dinner time, whatever, we'll see. Ideally, the goal though, if I'm updating this weekly, would be at least to have progress a little bit, a little bit of progress on each of these each week. So wish me luck but i feel like it'd be fun to check in weekly on them and then also review what i've been warming for you guys as well on a uh, more consistent and regular and uh timely basis if you will so that's pretty much what i warmed in the month of december let me know what you guys are going to start working on in january i feel like i went through this weird like mini crisis of like what do I work on now like what do I warm I'm over Christmas tree but I don't necessarily want floral <laughs> it was very funny as I was redoing my melting basket Corey's like this is my favorite season and I was like what and he's like spring and I'm like it's January <laughs> so 
I don't know that I'm quite too spring per se, but I'm kind of doing, I'm trying to do like I'm in the middle, like work on more of my bakery, more of my more like perfumey, like getting into spring scents. Um, and then the few peppermint scents I do have. So let me know what you guys are working on. If I need to take any inspiration, probably do like a melting basket between like now and mid February and then really get into spring. So that's my plan if you were looking for some inspiration because I was looking for some and I feel like I was only seeing you know like kind of that like ending what people were warming from Christmas so that's what I have um feel like I'm chatty because I haven't filmed a video in a really long time but that's all I have to share thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye guys